let's welcome the palate cleanser of the Smackdown Six Pack Challenge. Uh, this is the women's champion Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch versus Mickey James versus Carmella with James Ellsworth versus Naomi. I mean, this is better than it, it was booked at. You know, like, why put this here and why yeah. have so many people in it? Yeah, you've slightly like, reached like... a point where everybody is a good wrestler on the roster. <laughs> so even when they've got that thing of sort of going the traditional women's match between the two main events, if you like, hmm. which used to be the horrible way of saying, well, you can just go for a wee now and maybe buy a t-shirt mm. while the ladies do their thing, mm. pretending to be like the men. Now you're in an era where you go, well, actually, everyone's a wrestling performer. Yeah. So you don't have that sense of going, there is a dip. Mm. What this is, I did not need at this stage six entrances. No. Ma- make that clear. The entrances <laughs> on this WrestleMania are, are one of the key moments that kills it entirely yeah, each it's time. such a long way. To so think. long. Alexa I'm- Bliss, who is the champion, five feet of fury, out she comes. She does not make it down the ramp even though she walks on it for about two minutes before the next one's coming out. It's just much, much too long. Mm. Everything about Alexa Bliss, because she's so sort of petite and sweet, says, uh, I am a natural baby face, Mm. except for the fact that she is unbelievably good as a heel. She's just, there's something really, really good about her. Becky Lynch comes out next and she is wearing face paint uh, and dreadlocks and she's got a very much a steampunk, cyberpunk, pioneer settler, Mm. higher waffle look going on. Uh, It's Horizon Zero Dawn. It is. You're Horizon, absolutely Horizon, right. Great she is, graphics. She is alloy. <laughs> <laughs> or alloy uh, in oh. uh, in the 2017 video game Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, this is she actually... She is dressed as that, yes. Oh, I saw her dressed as that. Yep. I knew it was Horizon Zero Dawn. You mentioned that character's she, name earlier on. I, I had did. no idea who you were talking about. That's what she is. She could not look more like one of the people who stormed the fucking Capitol, could she? <laughs> she <laughs> looks like the Jamiroquai guy yes. coming out in this. Yeah. And it just looks so shit. Because... <laughs> What she suffers from at this point in her career, right. she isn't quite sure what a gimmick is. And yeah. she has a bit of this and a bit of that. I just think brown canvassy. Can you think of many wrestlers that have succeeded? It just reminds me of the Barbarian and stuff like that. Like yeah, shit, it shit looks, gimmicks. It slightly looks like Pioneer Woman as well. And it's a bit mm. Davy Crockett. And that, that also <laughs> yeah. feels like dated and yeah. sort of. It's a fabric you only wear if you're doing wrestling or storming the Capitol. There is no, there is no other place that you'd wear that. Yeah. And it, she's from Ireland. The whole thing just doesn't really make sense. I know you don't want to have her being Michael Fucky Flatley. Yeah. I mean, although it might be fun. It might be fun, yeah. um, But that thing of just her going, I don't know what I am, so I'm going to have a bit of everything. It just, <laughs> this is exactly where I thought Becky Lynch would end up. So, so is it an official, it's an official kind of thing that Horizon Zero They on. mention, or do they? Do they because even do I that? No, I think thing, I looked it up online. I don't I think, think they mention it. No, exactly. Because it's a bootleg, a, it's a bootleg Horizon Zero Dawn. And the thing is, the whole thing's sponsored by Final Fantasy. They don't want to, <laughs> at the end of the show, go, Horizon Zero Dawn is also a game you, that you can play. Uh, do you know what I sometimes think? I don't they, think it seems square in it. Do you know what I sometimes think they're doing? I sometimes think that some wrestlers go, the Hollywood will see me now. <laughs> Hollywood. Da, da Hollywood will uh, look, look, look at me it's that slight thing of when people dress up as Tomb Raider when they yeah. were models and they'd go to you know loaded back in the mid 90s yes, and get they'd go can I dress up as, as like you know computer game mm. characters and they'd sort of have those pictures uh, in Tomb Raider she's the graphics have improved lots on that uh, would, it, would it be it almost like yeah. she was in the room with you it actually almost looks like a real person in parts of it it looks very good and very real okay. um, it's fairly unbelievable yeah. Okay. You can look around, live. Lara Croft. Out goes Mickey James. She's wearing a uh, Native American headdress. Yes. She does have Native American heritage, but it's something that's never been mentioned uh, on <laughs> television. I, right, good. So when she did turn up in this headdress, I thought, fucking oh, hell, no. that's, a, that's a call. Dressed as Tatanka. It was my fault. She is entitled to do so. Okay. Uh, and uh, Carmella comes out with uh, James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth 
was brought in as enhancement talent. Mm. They wanted to do a couple of angles where they had people squashed, like in the old days. Right. And Vince McMahon was so taken with how ugly he thought James Ellsworth is <laughs> that James Ellsworth ended up being signed to a contract and once pinned AJ Styles. <laughs> um, the thing they were obsessed with him is he didn't have a chin. Yeah. So his mouth sort of goes straight into his neck. And uh, they gave him a finisher, which was a super kick, which was called No Chin Music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. I'm just Googling him. Uh, James Elworth denies sending you photos to Underage Girl. Good. Run the yeah. yes. He will no longer, let me tell yeah. you, be appearing on WrestleManias. He uh, he has denied that, of course, very very strenuously. Let us, let us add that. Mm. Really yeah. worth mentioning as well, which you will not know, is, is some of the legal case work that has gone on between uh, Matt Riddle uh, mm. and uh, the Speaking Out campaign mm. that um, uh, brought forth an accuser. He had his lawyer print out a statement, and his lawyer printed out the statement on... Um, some CD printing paper that's got so you can stick CD <laughs> CD labels on and then he took a photo of the CD label paint with the statement printed on that is uh, terrible it's so, it's so well, just give yourself a chance it's, uh, I mean it's like Lionel Hutz from The Simpsons <laughs> isn't it it's just amazing <laughs> It's just amazing. Oh, Who even dude. has that? I know. Who even anymore? has any? That's been kicking around. Just amazing. Oh, yellowed. Oh, dear. Um, oh, and dear. in comes Naomi. Look, Naomi on this, I mean, she has one of the great entrances on this show, and I've complained about entrances, <laughs> but she comes out with that UV light, and she moves. She makes She oh, makes it count. It's this, great you know. stuff. I mean, if anything needs to be covered in black light, it's not a wrestling. <laughs> thing, because there's just fluid everywhere. Yeah. They took some risks, I would say. They very much did. She. Yeah. I mean, she is great in this. Naturally, this crowd are so tired by this point. Yeah. They're exhausted. You like, think whoa, about in it, the nightclub. You have been there at least 12 hours, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and you probably travelled earlier than that. Mm. It's a knackering, knackering long day for them. Yeah. They're also then thinking about how to get home. Yeah, All I could think watching this, I thought, I know it's bad for me, but think of the people who are actually there, you know. You look mm. forward to it all year. Yeah. And then you, you thought, am I being ungrateful? Why do uh, <laughs> why do men never check their testicles? Because women, whenever they do moves in wrestling, yeah. they're always checking that they haven't fallen out. Yeah, true. Uh, post body slam or something, they're always kind of checking. Blocks never worry that their testicles pop. No, out. but I'd say that's true of life, isn't it, really? Yeah, well... I, th- I think a lady is very, very conscious of exposing herself. Right. Because I think, you know, there's titillation. Yeah. If a bloke's <laughs> knob falls out, you're just like, <laughs> yeah, knob's knob, out! Knob's dead. Different to, to <laughs> ball. I think a ball would be more upsetting for people. I th- I think a knob is <laughs> less humiliating because if your knob is out, you're like, my knob's out. But if your ball is out, you're like, did not mean for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Take a ball. Flat back. Just for further notice, one of your nuts is hanging out of your shorts. You got a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, th- this match is I mean it, it's okay it's, you know Bliss and Carmella they get a lot better at this stage they're, they're not great and at points it's some of the worst wrestling on the show I don't think so Alexa. Oh! Oh, oh, oh Alexa <laughs> Bliss say, Carmella oh there was a double sharpshooter that made me laugh because it, it collapsed <laughs> really quickly, doesn't it? Natalia sticks on the sharpshooter and it doesn't really sustain <laughs> itself. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Carmella and Naomi are stacked up here. A double sharpshooter. Natalia! <laughs> double sharpshooter! Trying to cinch it in here on both Naomi and Carmella. This match just ends out of nowhere. Bliss suddenly taps out to Naomi, mm. and uh, and Naomi cries. This is her hometown. She's she's right. won the belt, and she held it until SummerSlam. She lost it. WWE never really got behind Naomi as a superstar. They she is a really really good in ring performer. She's really seemed like head and shoulders above quite a lot of the other women who were around at the time she started. She would have slotted in well to the new generation, I think. But they never really seemed to see it in her. Mm. In uh, 2019, there was a campaign to get her booked properly that started on Twitter and it trended worldwide. Right. And she responded to someone saying, you know, thanks so much. I mean, I'm so humbled by this. You know, it's a really nice thing to know that people are out there and they care. Mm. And Booker T stepped in and basically went, you shut, you shut up. <laughs> you, how do you get over yourself, mate, begging the fans. <laughs> and so she got, she got to Booker T and basically just said, 
I'm really sorry. You know, I, I think you're absolutely right. And I'm, I'm really sorry to have done that. And then he gave her a fucking lecture. Going, you could learn a thing or two from me, young lady. And she was like, thanks, thanks. And it was so gross and oh, disgusting. No. Really, really horrible. Made me like Naomi all the more. <laughs> Uh, Hall of Fame, 2017. Yes. Yay. Diamond Dallas. I, Diamond Dallas. He just always looks a bit burned. <laughs> like, he I does. Don't know what, he, he's a, his skin is just weird. <laughs> he does it have. Looks twice as thick as anyone else's skin. Yeah, very sort of pockmarked skin. It's, it's almost a bit like, who's Simon Weston? He looks like yes, a bit he does, Simon Weston. He does Weston-y. look a bit they like Simon Weston. Like, yeah. It's also like if you met someone who you sort of went, oh, this is my dad, and we finally connected after many years apart. <laughs> And the dad came in and you sort of did a double take and he'd go, yeah, you just need to know a couple of things about me. I have spent the last three years living outdoors on the beach in Greece. It would, he has that slight sandy, you know, my eyelids have been burnt off look. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. Kurt Angle then is final member. They, they introduce him, John Cena. Um, he introduces him and he says, please welcome home, Kurt Angle. And they literally locked him out of his house. Uh, he'd spent years asking if he could come back, if he could do an angle, whether or not you know he could be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And there was a point where he said they didn't even return his calls. Mm. This was because when he'd left, they basically were very worried about him. He'd had a number of DUIs. You know, it's, it's, it's a difficult thing to do when it's your business. If we, for example, on WrestleMe, mm. if you continually turned up in a bit worse for wear yeah. and everything, would I have to say you can keep doing the show? The answer is yes. <laughs> but you don't want to get better, my <laughs> I If I was WWE and you were Kurt Angle, <laughs> I would go, I don't want this guy doing anything stupid mm. while the important name of WrestleMe, I'm getting confused, <laughs> <laughs> is still out there. Yeah. And so they basically, you know, cut all ties with him. Yeah. There is a thing when they're all like, he's finally come home. Mm. And it is just a bit like, he tapped on the window a lot. <laughs> he, he tapped on the window and you literally you were like... Have you stopped doing the drugs yet? Yeah, there Have is, you stopped? There no. is no one home. <laughs> I, I can hear you tapping, but no one is in. <laughs> he was so, so pleased yeah. to be back. And he was so, so happy. I did think when he was doing his speech, if you don't follow wrestling, you just sort of like, you see a little brief thing of a man doing an acceptance speech. Yeah, and it, it looks so lovely. A man yeah. who's celebrated, clearly an athlete, yeah. an Olympic athlete. And then <laughs> <laughs> he proceeds to cover himself. He pours two, two pints of milk over his own head in his suit. <laughs> 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 Probably not how he'd have dreamed it went. <laughs> you'd think he was mentally ill. Everyone... <laughs> <laughs> you'd really go, oh, it was horrible. Everyone called me a prick and then I poured milk on myself. <laughs> the, the funny... Yeah, that, I mean, that you suck thing is yeah. a uniquely odd wrestling thing where yeah. the chanting of you suck in his theme tune has yeah. become a tribute to him. Yeah. And he accepts that now. You know, it's just as well he, he does because it's never been able to be stopped. <laughs> they can't stop it. Uh, what a proud moment. Yeah. You know, and again, if you're outside, they all just chant you suck it. You suck and then he pours milk over his head. Milk over what his is head. this? It just what did he win an award for? <laughs> Pouring milk over yourself is absolutely something that if you did it once in any scenario, <laughs> people would never forget it. <laughs> be like, Do you remember the time? We were just having Christmas dinner and, and like, you know, he just poured <laughs> two litres of milk over himself. But I can't remember why the milk thing happened. Why is that a thing? There was a big thing where he was feuding no. with Stone Cold Steve Austin and uh... there was a, a famous thing when Austin was feuding with a man Austin turned up obviously with his beers mm. and he drove a beer truck to the ring and he sprayed McMahon and the Stooges and mm. Shane McMahon with a hose of beer yeah. they replicated that a number of years later where Kurt Angle oh. did the same thing with a milk truck Both and stinky. he fired the milk must have been worse but he fired the milk at <laughs> spoiled everyone spoiled milk and he sat on top of that milk truck and he got two litre pint things, he cheers them together, and then he did like Austin, drinking them. Right. So it was a great angle. <laughs> Again, might have made more sense if they'd shown it or something. I know! <laughs> the people who are watching <laughs> 10 years later. Yeah. There oh, is a no. thing about WWE that does take it for granted that you've seen everything. <laughs> yes. And if you haven't, I mean, it would just be weird if you'd seen a 70s wrestler and there was some 70s angle you didn't know, and he comes out and at the end of it, he just like, I don't know, like he gets a coconut and he like, shoves it up his arse, <laughs> and it's because of a famous angle, but you just go, that man just shoved a coconut up his ass. Yeah. he's not well he can't yeah. be well it's, uh, it's wrestling you still shoved a coconut up your ass. it's the what's the beef lady all over again yeah, exactly. I, just, I'm, I wasn't privy to the what's the beef lady the first time I also thought with the angle thing I thought I hope he rented that suit because yeah. again you, you take it for dry cleaning but knowing that the milk was on it you'd yeah. always years later well, just go well later oh. on obviously he comes back out sans milk so 
obviously, um, it's a different day, isn't it? It's the day after, yeah. Yeah, it's the day after. So I, I suppose, like, it's WrestleMania. They might have, have laundry it, yeah, facilities. Yeah. But then, Kurt, get it off immediately. You've covered yourself in milk. Oh, it stinks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone lining up and people just go, not standing next to an angle. And they say to him, well, he can do the entrance to the end so he's on the stage for the least amount of time. Yeah, fucking right. You don't suck, mate. You honk. Stinky. Did somebody honker. call my name? No, Gronk. Sit down. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Um, all the Christmas I watched. Uh, I watched Get Smart. Oh, you. Yeah, with, uh, uh, early rock Steve film. Steve Carell. Yeah, early rock film. Um, but the, the one of the baddies' henchmen hmm. is uh, the great Carly. Is it? And, and Anne Hathaway kisses the great Carly on the <laughs> lips. <laughs> what a weird thing Does he to actually... have in my mind. <laughs> Does he accidentally kill her? <laughs> no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't drop her on her. Oh, well, he's getting better. He's getting better, yeah. It just Man. made me laugh. I was like, oh. Okay, That's right. If go. I'd have met great Carly, Carly and I'd sort of gone, oh, he's the, you know, here he is, great Carly, I know all about him. And he went, um, let me tell you, once I, I got off with Anne Hathaway, I'd go, why are you lying? Why are you lying? What an amazing fact. Yeah. Man. Okay, Lara Croft and uh, Stuart and David, who cannot believe their eyes and ears. Hello, I'm Pete from WrestleMe. Hello, I'm Mark from WrestleMe. That was a nice salute. Uh, we are can be found over on our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. Uh, you get weekly podcasts, a monthly fantastic newsletter that's absolutely gigantic. It's ginormous. You get weekly podcasts advert free, and you also get these videos advert free. It's Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. We've done loads of stuff there, so go and look at it. There's loads. 